Hey guys, so we've got Ike here. He just got some water and uh, he gets a little obsessive about the water. So anyway, for today I've got an anti-haul and I'm going to start out with, I've got a couple of my favorite brands to mention anti-haul, so sometimes I just can't help myself. But the first one is, can you guys guess it? Herbivore. And they came out with a sunscreen. Facial sunscreen, SPF 30, vitamin C, and pre prebiotics. You know, I just... I just don't trust this brand for a sunscreen. I don't trust them with Bakuchiol. I don't trust them with the sunscreen. I mean, when I think about that Bakuchiol scandal that they had, when they called the product Bakuchiol serum and it didn't actually contain that ingredient, uh, I don't. I wouldn't trust them with my sun safety. That is for sure. So uh, anyway, it's a mineral sunscreen. I'm sure people, some people will like it. Uh, I mean, it's got some a lot of fragrance in it, but honestly regardless of all that i just they're a brand i don't trust so i wouldn't use them and i wouldn't trust my skin with them i mean to put a serum is on on is one thing and then to trust them with a sunscreen is a whole nother level so um okay next up this is like the new hot product of the year and every brand seems like it's going to come out with one of these and uh, this is a brand that actually specializes in hair care but it's the living proof scalp serum and it seems like Almost every brand these days has some kind of scalp product. It's the hot new product, and in here, uh, it's $64, and so it's kind of expensive. But uh, anyway, the ingredients in here, it's got fragrance, then limonene, and linalool, uh, and then the first exciting ingredients, really, it's a bunch of slip ingredients in there. So um, this is one I would definitely pass on. Honestly, if you want a scalp serum, I really, this one's uh, one-tenth of the price. And uh, it's been around for a while, and I actually trust it. So I, I'm not sure exactly why scalp serums are becoming the hottest thing, but every brand now is coming out with one. I guess it makes more sense for a hair care brand to come out with one, but every brand now these days is coming up with one. So, Okay, next up, Embryolease is their mattifying moisturizer. And I'll say this is the saddest ingredient list of any product. Uh, it's got a bunch of slip ingredients, and then uh, fragrance, and then turmeric, and that's about it. So, uh, pretty sad ingredient list, uh, and I, I, Yes Style is probably a little bit more expensive. So, yeah, so, I guess it doesn't have fragrance, but, uh, yes, it does, sorry. So, it's got, like, water nut, a bunch of slip ingredients, fragrance, and then turmeric. I, it's just a sad, sad ingredient list, but, I mean, maybe if you're a minimalist, then, again, I can't say if you have sensitive skin, you should pick that up because of the fragrance. So, I don't know. Anyway. Okay, next up. So this is the brand uh, Co Coxer, uh, and they're kind of a play on CosRx. The first time I saw this brand, I thought it was CosRx or CosRx related, and it's supposed to be a gentle exfoliating mist, but I don't really, and it's got lactic acid and some exfoliants in there. I really don't like the idea of an exfoliant being sprayed on my eyelids and around my mouth and things like that. It must be pretty gentle, and the, otherwise you get irritated around your eyes and flakiness and things like that, so I just... I don't like the idea of a exfoliant that comes everywhere, you know, all over your face. So here we've got Lincoln now. Okay, next up, I've got the Jimiso Snail Muse and 88 Peptide Facial Cream. And I have nothing to say about bad about this because I've got several of their products, but it just seems like they continue to, uh, I continue to fall in love with it and then they discontinue it or change it or something like that. And I'm not exactly sure what the deal is, but I'm afraid to even buy this to like it and then end up being disappointed when they discontinue it or change it. I probably got like three other versions of this in my drawers at the moment. So uh, anyway, so that's just, that was an easy pass because I don't want to be disappointed. Uh, okay, next up. Oh, uh, hang on one second. Sorry. I know our bathroom looks terrible. We're going to remodel it soon. So <sighs> let me have, let me have them finished drinking. You can just talk louder. Can I talk louder? Okay, yeah. next up. Okay, he's done. There we go. That was quick. Okay. Next up, I've got the Soleil Toujours Brightening Eye Cream with Mineral SPF 30 and Niacinamide and Vitamin C. And it's uh, $68 for half an ounce. And my bigger concern with the applicator tip on this one, uh, I'm very concerned that you're going to be able to apply it liberally. I have no idea if you're going to be able to apply it liberally enough. I can't and, uh, yeah. And then it's basically 70 bucks for 15 milliliters. Uh, the ingredients in here don't look terrible, but I just, let me look over the ingredients again. Uh, yeah, I just, I have a feeling it's going to be very hard to apply it liberally 
with this little applicator. And I also have a hard time paying $70 for half an ounce of a product. So I have a feeling you might be better off just applying your regular sunscreen close to your eye. Or if not, uh, a lot of other brands have SPFs for around the eye area that aren't 70 some dollars or more. Uh, okay, next up, coming at $37, another product I have a problem with because of the amount. So Dr. Jar Brightamin Brightening Serum with Niacinamide and Vitamin C, and this is 0.28 ounces or eight milliliters. And it comes with a little ball of ascorbic acid and you drop it in and then it activates it so that the vitamin C in it doesn't oxidize before you get it. Uh, so at 0.28 ounces, uh, for $37, something's not adding up here. Um, this will last like two weeks, maybe, maybe a week. Uh, something doesn't add up. Make it make sense. Doesn't make sense. I like the idea, but I just, maybe if it came with a set of like two, so you at least had like almost a, like a half an ounce, it would make more sense. Uh, so anyway, I like the idea of it, but it's kind of a knockoff of like Clinique, their fresh press where you mix it. A few other brands did the same thing. They're kind of doing it, but they're being really stingy about the amount of product they give to you with it. So, okay, next up. This one is the Laneige uh, Regenerate Lift Multi-Action Sunscreen SPF 15. What? 15. What? Like, I mean, I guess 15 is better than nothing, but... You already factor in the moisturizer. Is that $170? Yeah, for 2.6 ounces. Huh. I haven't got there yet, but yeah, 170 bucks. So, and then this product is uh, in terms of the ingredients, we've got three filters. So, really, not much filters. It's SPF 15, so it's basically nothing. And then uh, it's got tons of fragrance uh, limonene, linalool, cinnamic acid fragrance. I mean, uh, citronelle, things like that, geranol, coumarin, it's just, ugh. and then, then you factor in that's a moisturizer, so by the time you apply your moisturizer on a thin amount, you're probably getting like SPF one or two, I mean, it's almost not worth it, but better than nothing, I guess, but I wouldn't rely on it, and then last but not least, Fresh has come off a new product, their Black Tea Advanced Age Renewal Cream, which is also going to be ridiculously expensive, and the ingredients in here aren't very exciting, and for the price tag, uh, Fresh, they must have a built-in customer base, I but it. I still, uh, hmm. their customer, I mean, this one's 156 bucks for the three ounce size. <clears throat> and uh, the ingredients in here just, I mean, I, I mean, water, glycerin, pentylene, glycol, squalane, glycerol, citrate, jojoba esters. Yeah, for that much, I mean, they're making, I, I on this product, Counting in the packaging, I bet they're making at least $150 a jar. If they're selling this for $156, I bet they're making $150 a jar. And, you know, I guess they probably have to pay it to their marketing company or marketing person. So, anyway, there we go. Rant over. anti haul of the week. Interest hearing from you guys what you're not buying. Leave a comment. Love hearing from you. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys. Just get a hat instead of the sunscreen. Yeah.